everyone what is up welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new my name is Kat today I'm going to be doing a review and a time lapse of the Dowdle 500 piece trick or treat puzzle I love this one this one is actually one that we did about two years ago and we decided to keep and we pulled it out and decided to do it again this year quick disclaimer before I get on with this video this puzzle was made in 2017 I'm not sure a if it's still made and b the quality of Dowdle has changed so much since 2017 so take the things that I'm going to say in this video with a grain of salt because comparing to his 2020 puzzles his quality has changed so much better and he has made so many improvements to his puzzles and has definitely listened to consumers and that is definitely a brand that I want to continue to support because they want to make their products better and that's definitely what Daddle has done so without further ado let's get on with the time lapse <music> this puzzle it was actually quite harder than we expected it to be and remember it being I think the majority of why it was so hard was because the pieces did not stick very well together at all so therefore we had to make sure we were putting the piece in the right spot also a lot of pieces looked like they fit in a spot that they did not fit in and sometimes with 500 piece puzzles that can make it a lot harder because the pieces are so small and there's not a lot of pieces so you think that a piece goes in that spot but it doesn't so that was my one complaint about this puzzle is that the pieces fit somewhere that they did not fit and that they did not stick very well together overall the image is absolutely adorable and i definitely understand why we decided to keep this one so as you can see here, I picked up a piece of the puzzle and the pieces just immediately fall apart. The most that stick together is two, so it does make it extremely challenging trying to move pieces around. The pieces do click in rather nicely together, so that is definitely a plus, but this part right here is actually quite challenging for me to do, so I did struggle with it quite a bit trying to put it back together but as you can see here I thought that piece went there and it didn't so that was a big problem with this puzzle but as I said it was made in 2017 and his quality has changed so here are two pieces from the puzzle they are very nice bright color so that is definitely a plus but as you saw in the time lapse they are extremely glossy so try to remember that if you do do puzzles at night they are the same type of puzzle thickness and cardboard that he still has to this day so that has not changed here is the puzzle dust and i thought this was quite crazy that we still had this large amount since this was the second time that we had done it on my hardness scale i would give this a four out of ten it wasn't incredibly hard since it was a 500 piece puzzle but it also was quite challenging because like i said before the pieces acted like they fit in a spot that they did not fit in and they did not stick super well together i think that if those two things would have been fixed and now in 2020 they well 2021 they basically are so like i said you kind of can't go off of that now because if he still has this puzzle i'm sure it is his new quality then i think it definitely probably would have been like a two out of ten if even that high 
So are we going to be keeping this puzzle? The answer is yes, we are still going to be keeping it. We still loved it as much as we did the first time that we did it. We are a big sucker for a bunch of holiday puzzles and this one is adorable and it just gets us, like I said, in the Halloween spirit. So super sorry this one will not be available on our Mercari, but if you're interested, we do have some other holiday puzzles posted up there and the link is always in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you hit that like button and that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our future puzzle content. We are almost at 200 subscribers and when I get to 200 subscribers I'm going to be doing I think a white mountain puzzle collection video. I did Dowdle for 100 so I will leave that video link down below but I think I'm going to do white mountain next. We love white mountain puzzles. We have quite a few of those. I'm either doing white mountain or Eurographic. I haven't 100% decided yet. Also, make sure that you head over to our Instagram, which is Puzzling Through Life. I did post something over there yesterday, another Halloween puzzle that's absolutely adorable. So you want to make sure that you go head over and see that super cute puzzle. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next week video. Bye.